You are listening to Fight Talk. Thanks to Dragon Fire Promotions, Angelo Hyder, um, Tony Toll, Sugarcane Melbourne, and the real boss, Leanne Hyder, the team at Dragon Fire. Uh, now, Thunderdome 11. Can you believe there's been 11 events? Uh, fantastic events. Well, Thunderdome 11 is on Friday, July 3 at Perth Metro City. And I've said it over and over again, is one of the best venues in the world to view boxing because you are looking down at the ring at all the action. And one of the fighters I've seen uh, fight several times, and all of his fights have been at Thunderdome, is a knockout artist. He is known as the Whack One, Pat Enienya. And he joins me on the line on Fight Talk. Pat, how are you? Good, thanks, mate. How are you? I'm um, very well, and thank you very much for coming on Fight Talk again. Now, uh, I want to talk about your next fight. You're fighting Joe Lloyd at uh, Thunderdome 11. Uh, so I want to know how training's coming along for this one. Oh, training's been great. It's um, pretty hard, and Bob's putting me through the sticks. Well, that's what my next question is, because your normal uh, trainer, Craig Christian, Harry, as we uh, like to call him, uh, he's in he's holidaying in Bali, or it might not be holidaying, he might be over there for a bit of work, but uh, he's over in Bali, and you're tra training with the mighty Macedonian, Bob Fidanowski. So uh, what, what can you tell us about Bob? Bob the Builder. Uh, he's <laughs> awesome. He's a great trainer, and um, yeah, he's, he's, he's fun to work with. Yes, and of course, uh, Bob, a lot of our fight fans know my Bob as uh, he was the trainer for Chris uh, the Dragon John in his fight with Juan Manuel Marquez. And that's where jo uh, Chris John beat Marquez. Was many people as the uh, calling the greatest win by an Asian uh, uh, in boxing. So, uh, so obviously, that's a lot of experience to have in your corner. And he, is he training you a little bit different to, to Harry? Is it a little bit different training with someone like that? Yeah. We've got a few different things that we're doing, we're working on now, and um, yeah, it's quite it's, it's 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 definitely enjoyable. Just a lot of different other other stuff, you know. <laughs> well, Pat, last time I had you on Fight Talk, uh, we spoke about you were in, entering into a rematch with Thomas Pito. Now you really controlled the action in the first fight, winning an easy decision, and you floored him, absolutely floored him, knocked him silly in the first round and i thought the fight was going to be over but i think you got a bit excited again because you went looking for that knockout for the remainder of the fight didn't you that's right i got a bit carried away <laughs> once again harry wasn't happy with you was he <laughs> not very he wasn't very impressed <laughs> look on the plus side you did win the fight very convincingly the difference was is that uh you took a 10-8 round off him and then uh in, in two fights the guy hasn't taken a round off you so you're looking very impressive obviously very dominant but uh heading this fight with joe lloyd uh what's going to be the game plan well the game the game plan is going to be the same you know just do just do my thing just do my thing and don't don't get carried away once everything you know starts working out the way I wanted to, and just just keep the pressure on and do my thing. Go back to basics. Now, a lot of lot of guys are of here that uh, that you're hard to people don't want to fight you basically. You know, so obviously credit to Joe Lloyd for stepping up to take this fight. But uh, is that tough trying to find uh, credible opponents? Um, I, look, man, I really don't know about the opponents. If you know what I mean, I just. I just fight who I'm told to fight, you know, and I let I let I let the management and Tony and Craig and them deal with all that, you know. Yeah, well said. Uh, you're a very tough man, and uh, and looking forward to to another great night on uh, on July 11. Now, just go to social media. Where can our fight talk listeners find you on social media? Um, I've got I've got a fan page, Pat Enya. Um, I'm on Facebook as well. Um, yeah, that's that's where you can find me. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> follow the whack one. Now, what are your messages for our listeners uh, to to get down and watch you in action at Thunderdome Eleven on Friday, July three? Well, I'd like to let everyone know it's going to be a great night. I'm not just the only guy on the fight card. There's a lot of really great young fighters as well coming up, and it's going to be a big night. You know, everyone's got pretty credible opponents, and yeah, come down if. Come down and see some real action. That's it. Well, I said I can endorse that. I've been to every single Thunderdome, and it is a fantastic atmosphere. And uh, and the Dragon Fire team always managed to put on a great night. So, Pat, 
Get back to training, son. I know you're going to be looking forward to getting in the ring on July 3 and I'd like to thank you for your time again on Fight Talk and we look forward to speaking with you again after another victory. Thanks, Brett. Thanks for your time, mate. Talk soon, mate.